Good morning from Chinatown. This is one of the most happening streets all over London. So today we will be spending one whole day over here exploring the street, food. Come with me, I'll show you the best of Chinatown. So people who don't know about Chinatown, all big major cities in the world have a Chinatown and the one in London is the biggest in all over Europe. So we are here on a Monday and it's almost 12 p.m. at the moment and just see how busy this place over here is. So just make sure you'll be coming here on a weekday. If you come here on a weekend, the place is gonna be packed for sure. So getting into Chinatown is really easy. There are two tube stations. There is Piccadilly Circus and there is Leicester Square. It's less than five minutes walk to get here. So our first plan of the day is to grab a breakfast, but it's almost 12 p.m. at the moment. So maybe we can call it a brunch. We have been to Bun House. This is one of the famous shops in all over Chinatown and they're really famous for their custard buns and they do have dumplings. Let's try that out. And as you can see over here, there's a really big queue to go instead over here. As I said, it's really famous in London. So they have custard one, that's the most famous one. I badly want to try it out. And they have chicken, lamb, and these are their tumblings over here. Seats for two at the moment. Seats for two? Yeah. I'll be like two minutes. Two, two minutes? So we just go seated over here and I have made the order. Just got our signature buns. That's how it looks like. So one of them are chicken and one of them are custard. Let's open that and see how does it look like. It looks really fluffy from here. Look at that. Let's open this and see how does it look from inside. And they have something written on Many so Japanese I'm not sure. So this is a chicken one. This is not custard. This is a chicken one. This is really fluffy. Uh, yeah. We are eating a bunch of rice It's in the chicken gravy I really like it Other one was chicken So this must be custard for sure Let me open it Oh my god, look at that just try to give it a bite. It's so sweet. Look at the custard bun. The custard is literally melting down and it looks so tasty. Yeah, let me grab a bite. It's sweet and the um, bun is so sweet. I love it. This is my favorite. So this is dim sum for dumpling so this is made out of prawns and rice inside you can see over here there are two prawns and rice and i believe the coating is with rice i think so these are rice bread over here i really like this one but if you ask me what's my favorite over here i would definitely say the signature custard bun so after having two signature buns and one set of dumplings so one set of dumplings have three pieces it cost us 14.52 so when you're in chinatown definitely it's in one house it's worth visiting here so i'm right now in the middle of chinatown over here the most famous street foods and the big restaurants are right over here so over here there are a lot of food food restaurants and the famous chinatown bakery is right over here and look at the place it's really busy and it gives a really good vibe all right guys so let's check into the chinatown bakery they do some amazing buns they do a lot of pastries over here let's go inside and see what do they got here Oh, so it's really busy right now at the moment i mean even if you come here on a weekday or weekend it doesn't matter this place is always busy 
Okay, so they do have amazing varieties of buns over here. QQ bun. This looks really nice. I think I'm gonna buy this one because I have never tried this. Uh, they have cheesy chicken post bun, spring onion bun. Look at that. There are a lot of Chinese options over here. And what is this green thing? Uh, I think that triangle panda cake. That also looks really yummy. Look at the place, it's really busy. And they do have some egg tart over here. You know, it's really confusing when you come over here, which one should we buy? But and this is one of my favorite over here, coconut crispy drop bun. So I'm definitely buying this coconut cream but it's gonna take some calories in but look at that I can't resist for this for sure and look at this thing over here this is mini boshi frozen this looks really cute What you see behind is a kitchen over here. The best thing about China Town Bakery is you can literally see them making the buns and taking it straight away to the place where we buy. So we are getting the straight fresh product straight away from the kitchen. And they are just not making pastries over here. They do some amazing little teas over here. And their sous rolls are one of my favorites. When you're here, you should definitely try it. So we just bought everything we want and let's check this out and see how much is it gonna cost us. So we just bought all our things and it cost us 7.55 which is not bad because we got two buns and a milk tea as well but the buns are not really expensive they are almost like one pound or two pound but the milk tea is about three pounds that's why so let's try out how these things are now let's try out the cream bun from here i'm actually a big fan of cream buns as well when i was back home in india i loved cream bun look at that so there is one and there's a coating of coconut on top and there are cream stuff in between let me take that bite Good. the cream is really thick and the bun is also i love it So this is a Hong Kong style milk tea over here. It's called Cha Dong Hong Kong milk tea. Let's open it and see how is it tasting. But I'm saying I am currently doing a really good diet and going to gym. But after this video, I'm gonna get fat for sure. Yeah, it's a really yummy tea. It's old, it's sweet. How the old flavors so kind of like a tea and coffee as well. It's a mix of tea and coffee, guys. I'm telling you, there's nothing harder than finding the right bubble tea shop. Cause most of the shops they does amazing bubble teas in Chinatown, and this one looks really appealing see how are there ones now that's a great lemon tea and it comes with bob apples right is a grapefruit lemon fruit tea and it does come with a fruit jelly inside as well let's see how it is really i mean the best thing i like about this tea is it's so fruity it have the old textures of the grapefruit and the fruit jelly inside is literally coming into the mouth when you drink the tea and it feels like a gloomy feel when you eat that. China Town, you can find different kind of bubble tea shops. There are slushy bubble tea, there is smoothie bubble tea, there is a fresh milk bubble tea and this is a real food bubble tea as well. So there are a lot of millions of options. You can try it out. This is a must try thing when you are in China. And I would really recommend you guys trying out the brown sugar milk teas. They are really thick milk teas and I really love it. So I am right now in front of a Chinese supermarket. Let's go inside and see what things do they sell there. 
right so we just go inside feels like a normal supermarket but no look at the kind of ramen and noodles they are selling here i'm someone who is really mad at these ramen so over here if you take this home i cook it by yourself this is really a me any street gum I just got out to the supermarket the staffs over there were in friendly with shooting the video and I just got just this chewing gum the Chinese chewing gum that's it let's get into our another spot and Chinatown is not just for bubble teas and pastries they do amazing chicken dishes I'm in front of good friend at the moment they do amazing popcorn chicken and there are a lot of variety dishes let's go and check them out so when the moment I came inside the shop it was completely empty but as soon as I came in this is fully packed at the moment and they are really famous in Chinatown So this is how their popcorn chicken looks like. This is really yummy and we can choose our own seasonings to add on it. I love it. It's spicy. It's crunchy. Come on, check them out. So I'm right now in a show where we can buy ice cream on a fish shape with corn. Let's get that. And they just don't have fish shape with one, they do have one. Another one it's called melon pan mango ice cream. Try it out, but I'm only taking one. I have had a lot of sugar already today. This is more kind of like a touristic thing in Chinatown. This looks like a fish on the corner and they will mix vanilla and matcha with it. It's really good and I'm not really a fan of matcha but this one it's good it's great. This is Chinatown's most bargain thing you can get over here for a five pound you can get a unlimited buffet over here. Let's see how much food we can take for five pounds. Uh, yeah, take away. Uh, just one box. Just one box, yeah. Uh, just one box. One, yeah, five pounds. Oh, you're eating. Five pounds. You can get all this food right over here. So you can fill the box over here with any of this food for five pounds. So for five pound you'll be getting this whole box over here. I don't think so you'll get any sort of food on this price in London. And that's a wrap on our China tour food adventure right here in London. From sizzling street food to traditional delicacies, it's been an incredible journey through flavors that transported us straight to the heart of China. If you enjoyed this culinary exploration, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your fellow foodies and subscribe to the channel for more delicious journeys around the world. Comment down on what dish you would love to try if you have been to any of these sports yourself. Until the next adventure, bye, see you on the next video.